But how did this controversial new technology get approved by the government in the first place? At the end of the, the first Bush administration, uh, George Bush's administration, uh, Dan Quayle ran something called the Competitiveness Council. We will ensure that biotech products will receive the same oversight as other products, instead of being hampered by unnecessary regulation. What Quayle's council recommended is that there be no regulation at all for these foods. This outraged FDA scientists. There is voluminous documentation showing that FDA scientists said this food needs to be tested. This food can be toxic. This food can create new allergens. The genetic engineering process, the cell invasion technique that is genetic engineering, can lower nutrition. It can have immune, create immune problems in laboratory animals. All these things need to be tested, much less the environmental effects. But Dan Quayle and his council said, no way. We want to be the first in the world to market this food. FDA still said no. So what do they do? They brought in a deputy commissioner for food policy, a man named Michael Taylor. And Michael Taylor used to work at King & Spaulding as Monsanto's senior counsel there. He had written up the industry regulations, which were basically no regulations, and of course, he allowed this no regulation policy to become official U.S. policy in 1992. Monsanto employees and government regulatory agency employees are the same people. And to give you one example, uh, there's countless names uh, on, this, on, on this list, but uh, one that kind of stands out to me, the biggest is uh, Linda Fisher. Uh, Linda Fisher, uh, for the past seven years, has been an executive vice president for Monsanto Corporation. Uh, she is now uh, the deputy minister uh, for the EPA, uh, also as a deputy minister under George Bush Sr.'s administration. Prior to that, she was with Monsanto. And prior to that, uh, she was with the EPA. Uh, she's been back and forth three times. And uh, the list goes on and on like that in Washington.